So now this just kind of seems it. like... Well, whatever. Guess what? In order to free up your younger self to complete the rocket drill, I'm gonna have to serve my own grandfather with a subpoena. Great Scott! Actually, his name's Arthur. He's Kid Tannen's accountant. Marty, whatever you do, it's vitally important that you don't alter your grandfather's future in any meaningful way. The consequences... Could be catastrophic. I know, got it. But yeah, you still have to serve that subpoena. Hang in there, Doc. <clears throat> yeah, where did... Where did he go? What's L3? What's our goal now? Papers of... Serve papers to Arthur, Arthur McFly. Where is Arthur McFly? Yeah, I don't remember where he went. Those lawyers sound kind of... Alright, so now we're gonna have to hunt down Arthur. I like after doing something, like they make it quicker and quicker to get through it every single time. Yeah. Where's Tannen again? I'm not sure. It's not the there. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, boss. Get out of here. Is Kiwi that old? How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I guess I'm here to shine your shoes. Just <laughs> I'm looking for Arthur McFly. Just scratching them. Whoop! Wrong button. Don't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I'm just gonna be I talking like to. Soup. Yeah. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Yeah. Uh, Clap a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. <laughs> you draw a picture of you. a little harder. You don't seem like a soup kitchen kind of guy. Think what kind of guy do you think I am? <laughs> How come you won't let the Stay Sober Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen? We got other plans for that cellar, and it don't necessarily involve staying sober. <laughs> okay, just, not. Just, just give away everything. Tell everyone what you're doing. Yeah, really. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. He's my employee. Very busy. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. Is that Artie's hat? When mm -hmm. I might find him. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> he looks like Howard Stark. Yeah, he does. Can I buy that hat off you? Can I have some peanuts? Can I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh? Shoeshine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. What the H-E double hockey sticks is that? Hey, kid. Yeah? What the hell is that? <laughs> hey. That's pretty funny. <laughs> What'd you do? So now it's going to be this whole old school chase scene like from the films. Yeah. <laughs> Frisbee now. <laughs> Suddenly Doc's an athlete. <laughs> Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen. <laughs> no, oh, step in manure. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> I was gonna polish this shoe. Gail's a medicine fine. <coughs> Where do you learn how to move like that? Jack Gentleman Thomas. Jack Thomas. They used to call me the streak. Get it out. So I don't know if that's Red Thomas's dad. Real light, Mayor Red Thomas. Yeah. So it's Jack Thomas. 
Help Emmett serve papers to Arthur McFly. Okay. How, how's the hack going to help me? I have to investigate the hack. Grandpa may be a little windy, but he's got great taste in hacks. Yeah, I don't know. If... Oh, duh! Einstein. His running is so slow. Yeah. Like, his feet are moving, but he's not going anywhere. Yeah, so now you're going to take the hat, go to Einstein, make Einstein smell it, and lead you. Please go. <sighs> lead you to Arthur. He looks like Frodo. <laughs> just the big head and the design. The so arc. equip... Well, yeah, apparently you don't equip it. You just... Hey, how you doing, Einie? Einie? It's short for Einstein. Einstein, of course. Because he was a patent officer just like you. <laughs> Well, I don't know. The whole game up to this point, it just always wanted us to click on the character yeah. and not actually equip anything. Hey, honey, come here for a sec, boy. Certain things they want you to equip it, and other things they don't. Yeah. Where's he going? Only one way to find out. Where's he going? No. Oh, well. Off the map. That's it. We're stuck there. <laughs> Fresh bread. Hill Valley Apartments. Huh. Deja vu. Huh. Okay. Alright, so now I'm probably gonna have to you ring. Any help? Um, never mind. Okay. What is that? Billiards. Yeah, you probably have to hit L1 and all that. Oh, it's a billiards parlor. I'm trying. It won't look at it. So that, yeah, now we're gonna have to use the buzzer. Try to buzz in. There's Artie. Yeah? Who is it? Yeah? Quick blush! <laughs> I know! Okay. That's it. Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll take it from here. Yeah, go off. I don't need to push it again. Arthur's already there. Oh, you, you, Can I select Arthur? Yeah, you probably have to I walk can't out in see. front. Someone's playing tricks on me. You probably have to buzz it, and then when he comes to the yeah, oh, right there, that angle. I wish like the simple things in this game weren't a puzzle. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, you can click on him now. No, we're you. family. I've got some. We're the law. We've got some important information. That's important information for you. What is you it? Yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Some other time. Well, there's nothing stopping him from going up. Yeah. So you have to ring it again. It's cool too. You can hear people playing pool. Yeah. I'm sorry, playing billiards. Please come down. Yeah. Why? We're family. I've got something for you. We've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the, the Accountant Weekly. It won't come out if he knows why we're really here. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, <laughs> the boss won't let me leave the room. This is his voice. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, do it again. <laughs> I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell him he's my grandfather. What now? Yeah, it's probably gonna go through everything until... It's me again. Please come down. Why? Why? <laughs> Alright, so we are the lie. You can probably say <laughs> we're family. Is this a Judge Dredd reference? Just <laughs> want to see. You represent the law. Oh. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kit Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry. Some other time. Sorry. Jesus, annoying. <laughs> Why? I'm your grand... Uh, mother's great nephew. Really? My second cousin? Yeah. <laughs> Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to figure something else. So there's absolutely. I, I spent all that time doing. I got nothing. 
Exit to town square. Oh, I didn't even want to do that. He just did it on his own. Fresh and delicious. I thought I said fresh and jealous. <laughs> Great bread. Fresh and jealous. Out to lunch back soon. Alright, now what are these two up? What are these two mooks now doing? Now hit L3. Help Emmett serve papers to remember my plot. So we're going to have to go back. Oh, what the frick? Maybe I need to talk to him again. I don't know. Because they showed a video of him stepping out of there. I did everything I could with Mr. McFly. That's what I was being. I was thinking there was probably other things in that area we had to click on. Well, you know how this game is. It's like back and forth, back and forth. He's now that you... Too bright. Maybe I could trick him into dragging Grandpa out in the open. There. This is how this game works. It's like you you go there and you find out you can't figure out anything, and that's enough to trigger him to figure out something else over here, yeah. and that's enough to trigger him to go back and actually figure out what he needed to do in the first place. Well, well, look who's back! They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Yeah. Uh, get him, matches. <laughs> He's matches. Me He's messing up his slogans too. I guess they're still mad at him. Now they're just jogging. Oh! I realized what I needed to do. I'm an idiot. Nice. This isn't very action-y music or it's a sound effects. There's no sound effects. Yeah, it's weird. Get it's like... from there, you son of a bitch! Whoa! Now, that's an order. <laughs> Apparently you can talk to matches. So hit L1 and, yeah. And apparently you can keep clicking around on stuff. So Einstein. He's gonna go over there and bite him. Kicks the dog. Hey! Where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! Rat always returns to the scene of the sinking ship. Well, apparently we can go talk to matches. Mmm, not gonna bother with that. I think I I there's one thing I forgot to try when I was talking to George McBlan. I just realized it. George. I mean, a Avery. Arthur. Emmett. <laughs> Artie. Arthur. Archer. George McFly's father. G. What G. was that? G. What was he gonna say? G. Cutscene. See, in here I was wondering if you can click around on other things. I got it. I got it. I think I figured it out. It's one of these stupid puzzly things. What now? What now? No. I'll give it back to him after I give him this. No, oh, come on! You lure him down with the hat. What? No, I'll do it afterwards, fine. So what if you hit, like, L1? Here, give me that thing. Give me that thing! <laughs> Quit bugging me, or I'll tell kid! Alright, so. We're here. Uh, Emmett Einstein buzzer, that's it. If you come over here... No, I don't want to go to the town square. And he won't run in here, either. Now here I thought you could like click around. And he stops after that point. So if I talk to Did him. Help? Yeah. Um never mind. And what do you mean never mind? Think. Is there anything else in the inventory? Maybe we can get another clue. Well, forget it. Here we go. The subpoena. Yeah. Not sure what that'll do. Not equip sure it and then talk do. to him? Not sure what that'll do. Yeah, you can't do anything because it's equipped. The is always so loud. And stupid. <laughs> Alright, so now, right now open that. Now I'm gonna come over here. Now equip the subpoena. Show him the t picture. Should have 
Made it into a paper airplane. Tied to a rock. Alright. Photo of George. Hmm. Arthur's already a little freaked out. <laughs> Showing him a picture of his yet to be born son could turn him into a vegetable. That'd be pretty funny. Alright, fine. What is that Klondike? That? Mm hmm. Brown resident's phone number. 1038. I wonder if that's the road. Klondike, 5 1038. All right, was so that that way in the movie? In the movie, it was. They're like, it's a block past Maple East, plot past Maple East. No, it's John F. Kennedy Drive. But I'm trying to remember what the original one was. Huh. Doc's notebook doesn't belong to them. Okay. I really don't think they need to know the Brown family phone number. Okay. Uh. That is cool, though. Like, you can click on all this. And... I don't think Arthur would respond to that recording. He only listens to Tannen. Oh! Oh! So it's like just a whole bunch of puzzle. You gotta really try everything. All right. So now I want to find. Why the tan is always so loud? And yeah, because they're loud and they always run off at the mouth, so everyone can hear them. On a tape recorder. All right. So now I'm gonna look at the hints just to see if that's what it says. Which is worse, kids bark or his bite? Marty isn't. Cowed by kids rant ranting, but timid Arthur probably would be Try recording kid while he's ranting. Mm -hmm. So I need to walk over here trigger the camera This reminds me of kid and King Arthur's court Because he's always using like these modern technology hey. things hey. Here we go. Do you have it equipped? Yeah, I should have it equipped. I think I can still get up there and equip it. I'm gonna hit. Oh, he's gonna shout from. You better get down here. Yeah. And that, that's when you need to use it. That's what I'm thinking. Now we're up here. We need to equip the tape recorder. Needs sound effects. Make... All right. So. Get it worse for yourself. There we go. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now. <laughs> yeah, so then <laughs> that's all you need. Down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order. And then we call Einstein. That's an order. Look out, boss! It's it's that crazy mud again. Look out, boss! Looks like he's crapping his pants. <laughs> you lost him again. He What's walks that? like a two. <laughs> like, goofy. What's that goofy walk? It's funny that the tannins would always be running into manure because, like, manure feces was a an ingredient used in tanning hides. Yeah. All right, so we're going to head back to Arthur. Past Doc Brown. Exit to Arthur's. So, yeah, it's funny. Now we, now we can use that thing. Get down here, you scrawny little runt. Yeah. All right, here we go. I wonder how many times you actually have to go through this. In order for him to figure it out so you can do it in the right order. Or you can just do it right away. I don't know. Now, now we're going to hide. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little <laughs> runt? Get down here right now! It's kid! Right away, boss! <laughs> it's like, it works. Uh, where's kid? Where is kid at? Now what? Now serve him the subpoena? Yeah. Or Arthur's hat. Mm, the subpoena. He said after the subpoena. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena! <laughs> Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into... Tannen! Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest! But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cow. He just called himself tell? Artie. <laughs> I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh, gosh, Artie McFly. Oh, gosh. Yeah, just put an M on there. I wish I could re read that sign behind them. It's just all blurry. Yeah. It's kind of a pain. Someone put their 
time into making that sign, and then they blurred it out. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze. Grandpa got house. served. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on. All right, and they still got the hat, so I got to give it to him. All right. Eventually, sometime, apparently. I didn't let him do it. I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good. Come on, let's go. Time waits for no man. All right.